It's fall 2012. Here's my review for 666 Park Avenue. And uh, we're watching the show. I'm watching the show with my girlfriend in about 25 minutes, half hour in. And she just goes to me. She goes, you know what? I hate this show. This show is hurting my brain. It's being, it's so manipulative. It's bothering me so much. And basically, I'm thinking about that. I'm like, I'm not, I'm trying to be like diplomatic about her or trying to be happy like a journalist and say, I'm not going to give my emotional opinions. I'm going to figure out what, what I think about this show. And I wrote down a list of like adjectives what this show is about. So I'm going to read it. This show's got sex. It's got gore. It's got goth. It's got a villains, it's got a good sexy villain, and it's got like an older distinguished man with a bald head villain. It's got pretty people all over the place, like sexy pretty people. You got a hot blonde, you got a hot brunette, you got a brunette uh, who basically is like a nerdy brunette but she's sexy. You got, a, you got a male kind of like writer who's kind of like, he's kind of like, gets out of bed and he's kind of like nebbish but he's still sexy guy. Then you got a lawyer who's sexy. Lots of pretty people all around for, for us to watch. Then you got voyeurism happening where we're like, People are watching other people happening from afar with something that we're all kind of interested in. We got scandals like going on everywhere. We got white collar scandals. We got blue collar scandals. We got a mystery of like what happened to these characters that disappeared or get murdered and stuff like that. You got supernatural stuff where a guy in the beginning of pilot is like he's all scared and all of a sudden he like gets his like whole body thrown through a peephole and you're like what's going on here? And then you got you got horror happening. And it's like there's like all this like gore, like I said, and there's like there's like suspense where it's like someone's going around the corner and you're wondering what's going to happen. You got wonderment, and it's like you got like okay, what's happening here? What's going on at six 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 Park Avenue? What's 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 happening? It's like you got this all this stuff going on, and then you got then you got what's going to happen next storytelling theme where it's like. These characters, these characters okay, and then you got the villain guy who's like the guy from from Lost, who's like channeling his uh, his basically his last season Lost character, where he played the villain, even though he was in a body of somebody else, but he was being himself. Whatever, from anybody who knows Lost understands this. So th this show is going to be successful because it has all these things in it. So my girlfriend might hurt her head that much, but. This show's got a lot going going for it, and it's got what what American people love, like all those adjectives that I described, and it's got some pretty cool sex scenes going on too, which people love, and it's got all this kind of like uh, these these like these things people talking about orgasms and stuff, but of course the word orgasm isn't talked about, but it's like implied. All these implications happening as well. This show's going to be successful, so. To my, to my girl, you're not going to see the show because it hurt your brain so much, but I think there's going to be 30 million people around the world who are going to love this show. That's my review.